Effort or no effort? Does this require effort? Does awakening require effort? Does awakeness require effort? Does life just as it is, reality just as it is, require effort? No. It is just as it is. It doesn't need your help. There's nothing to get rid of to discover this. There's no self to dissolve. Even resistance can never be precisely found. So what is the perception of effort? And is it okay? Well, it turns out it is okay because effort is just a perception. But if it feels real to you, then direct it to its source, direct it to its root. Who is making the effort? Where is the effort originating from? Is it originating from a center? If so, where is that center? What is your evidence that it exists? What are you taking reference from if you feel a center? If you feel like an I, a me, and if that feels blatantly obvious to you, what are you taking reference from? Just look, feel, investigate. Look at any object. Is that somewhere out there? How do you know? What are you taking reference from? What is that when you don't reference a thought about it? When you don't reference a self opposed to it, aware of it, apart from it? It's just what it is. But that just what it is is not contingent upon anything, including awareness, perception, perceptual distance. So this is how you investigate. This is authentic effort. Often this starts with, who am I? Or finding the pure sense of I. Or finding the pure sense of consciousness through which everything is perceived. Or as the sum total of every thought you've ever had. Because it consists of all movements of thought, reflections of mind, experiences, perceptions. And you can often find that as a totality of experience. It'll feel very much like a presence that is seamless with who or what you are without having to think about who or what you are. Now, resting in that, resting as that, often leads to a deeper insight. And that insight is available in the sense experiences. You could say that it's clearly seen at some point that the entire experience of self or I, or pure being, was actually a reflection of something that cannot accurately be reflected as a totality or a singularity or a part or a whole or anything graspable. But that doesn't mean that it's not there, that it's not real, more real than real, more real than the sense of I, more direct than the sense of I, more obvious and uncaused than anything you've ever experienced. So to clarify this, if there's effort remaining, and if there's any sense of duality, any sense of an abiding self or self-sense, there's going to be some sense of effort or doership or agency left at some level. Then begin to investigate the nature of sound itself. The nature of a sensation. 
just like the Bahya Sutta describes. In hearing, there's only the heard. In seeing, only the seen. So investigate that in the sense fields. Where am I taking reference from this sound? But there's a hearer. Where is that? Is it added on or is it part of the hearing? Does the hearing have parts? Is it out there somewhere? And is it in here somewhere? So the effort is just a direction of attention to querying the basics of experience. The most fundamental movements of experience that seem to solidify a subject and an object or a sense of boundary or a sense of weight or permanence, predictability, even deeper investigating what are we taking reference from that suggests that things are empty or full, that they have to be one way or the other? Where are we taking reference from to come to the conclusion that sound is empty or that sound is full or that it's radiant or that it's without any essence. Can you find those designations, those dualities in sound itself? This is how you investigate. The doorways are everywhere. The entry points are everywhere. Your teachers are everywhere. They're knocking on your door. At first it seems like you're knocking on the door, hoping it opens to get some answers. At some point you realize everything is knocking on your door. The only way to open it is to not be there. And then what is? Unconditioned reality will reveal itself naturally, spontaneously, seamlessly. <laughs>